All right. <clears throat> well, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, just basically, uh, you know, we understood there was a complaint of, a, a, or I guess a woman said her, her daughter had been injured at school, West Elementary, a complaint. What was the nature of the complaint? I guess you guys have investigated her. Yes, we did have a female come in. Uh, she reported that her daughter had been involved in a, was actually causing a disturbance at West Elementary. Uh, she was there as well as another staff member at the school. Uh, and uh, her daughter was, was uh, using some obscene language and uh, actually had gone into one of the bathrooms at the school. Uh, and she's alleging that while the, the, the uh, did, while her daughter was causing this disturbance, uh, some of the, one of the school staffers intervened and uh, that her daughter sustains a minor injury to her arm. Uh, so she did report that to us and we are uh, investigating it and when that investigation is complete then we'll forward it to the county attorney's office for their their decision on whether or not uh, there's a prosecution or not. And how were you all alerted to the situation? Uh, this, this female actually brought her daughter to our department uh, to file a report. I you know, and I spoke to the woman. She, uh, she says she, she they went to the hospital, and that you guys were called to the hospital. Is like the hospital contacted police initially? Is well, that? Let me check. That but seem, I, don't, I just want to. Yeah, that's yes. what she claims. Okay, let me just make sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, let me just... Correct information. I see it's pretty good. You know, footage of him typing there. We could use that as filling. Let me just make sure I've got the right. Uh, Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, just basically, uh, you know, we understood there was a complaint of, a, a, or I guess a woman said her, her daughter had been injured at school, West Elementary, a complaint. What was the nature of the complaint? I guess you guys have investigated her. Yes, we did have a female come in. Uh, she reported that her daughter had been involved in a, was actually causing a disturbance at West Elementary. Uh, she was there as well as another staff member at the school, uh, and uh, her daughter was, was uh, using some obscene language and uh, actually had gone into one of the bathrooms at the school. Uh, and she's alleging that while, the, 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 uh, did, while her daughter was causing this disturbance, uh, some of the, one of the school staffers intervened and uh, that her daughter sustains a minor injury to her arm. Uh, so she did report that to us, and we are... Uh, investigating it, and when that investigation is complete, then we'll forward it to the county attorney's office for their their decision on whether or not uh, there's a prosecution or not. And how were you all alerted to the situation? Uh, this this female actually brought her daughter to our department uh, to file a report. I, you know, and I spoke to the woman. She uh, she says she, she they went to the hospital, and that you guys were called to the hospital. Is like the hospital contacted? Police initially. Is well, that? Would that seem? I, I just want to. Yeah, yeah, that's what yes. she claims. Uh, um, uh, we did receive a call from the emergency room, and I'm not sure whether. Okay. Hit again. Okay. Yes, please. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we did receive a call to the emergency room. I'm not sure whether the mother of the daughter reported this to us, our department, or was the emergency room staff. Uh, but our officer did respond to the emergency room to speak to this uh, female and her daughter. And, and the, so I, do we say, I, I heard it was a, a staff member, um, somebody told me it was actually the principal, I, can you tell us who it was being? You know, at this point I don't want to name anybody involved in the investigation. Uh, it's just a matter, we'll let the investigation progress to the end and then refer it to the county attorney's office for a decision. Uh, it is an employee of the school that uh, has uh, been named by the mother of the, the young girl. She's an 11 year old female uh, who was causing this disturbance at the school. So, uh, you know, the investigation's underway and, and when uh, it's complete we'll send it to the county attorney and there'll be a decision on that. I see. Um, uh, I, I, I guess, it, so So there's been no arrest, charge, anything like that? or, or action. No, at this point we're interviewing uh, numerous witnesses and uh, when those interviews are completed 
then we'll we'll just send the whole thing over to the county attorney, and then there'll, there'll be a decision. But uh, no charges uh, at this time, and uh, we'll just let the investigation take its course. And, and what time does it go? Do you do you have the time of when does it occur? I don't know. It was last Wednesday on the 24th. Um, I'm not sure what time it was. But during school hours, I guess. It occurred at the school. I'm not sure whether. I mean, I guess I can look. <laughs> Although we didn't get it. it was, we weren't called to the school. Right, right. So... It was... Reported to our department on the, about 3:10 p.m. Um, so w when exactly it occurred during the school day? Sometime I'm not sure what period or what time of day it was. Because you guys were called out to the hospital. Yes. Okay. And which school was it? West Elementary. So basically, the the girl was causing a scene, and somebody. Might have grabbed her, done something to Yeah, the uh, locked herself in the bathroom. Well, I don't. I would say she. It doesn't sound like she probably couldn't lock herself in the bathroom, but uh, the 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 disturbance occurred in the bathroom with her using a bunch of language and causing a pretty major disturbance at the school. And uh, the mother of the female is alleging at some point uh, during the disturbance that the injury was caused by uh, one of the school staffers. Do they say the nature of how? Does it say the nature of how? It looks it? like it's a minor injury to one of her arms. Um, not sure exactly at this point uh, how it was caused, other than uh, we'll look into it and see what, what the circumstances were. Mm -hmm. Did the mom take the girl to the ER? Yes, mother took the, the girl to the emergency room. Where she was uh, treated and released? Or? Yes, no, no, it looks like a minor injury to one of this female's arms, as I'm, as I'm understanding from the initial report. Um, as an 11-year-old girl? 11-year-old, yeah. And I guess that's it. I can't think of it. Yeah, uh, we did receive a call from the emergency room, and I'm not sure whether... Okay, okay, yes, please, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we did receive a call to the emergency room. I'm not sure whether the mother of the daughter reported this to us, our department or was the emergency room staff, uh, but our officer did respond to the emergency room to speak to this uh, female and her daughter. And, and the, so I, do we say, I, I heard it was a, a staff member, um, somebody told me it was actually the principal. I, can you tell us who it was being? You know, at this point, I don't want to name anybody involved in the investigation. Uh, it's just a matter, we'll let the investigation progress to the end and then refer it to the county attorney's office for a decision. Uh, it is an employee of the school that uh, has uh, been named by the mother of the, the young girl. She's an 11-year-old female. Uh, who was causing this disturbance at the school. So, uh, you know, the investigation's underway, and, and when uh, it's complete, we'll send it to the county attorney, and, and there'll be a decision on that. I see. And they, um, uh, I, I, I guess, so So there's been no arrest, charge, anything like that, or, or action? No, at this point, we're interviewing uh, numerous witnesses, mm -hmm. and uh, when those interviews are completed, then we'll, we'll just send the whole thing over to the county attorney, and then there'll be a decision. But uh, no charges uh, at this time, and uh, we'll just let the investigation take its course. And, and what time does it occur? Do you, do you have the time of when does it occur? I don't know. It was last Wednesday on the 24th. Um, I'm not sure what time it was. But during school hours, I guess. It occurred at the school. I'm not sure whether. I mean, I guess I can look at that. Although we didn't get it, what we were called in the school. Right, right. So. It was reported to our department on the, about 3.10 p.m. Okay. Um, so w when exactly it occurred during the school day sometime, I'm not sure what period or what time of day it was. Because you guys were called out to the hospital. Yes. Okay. And which school was it? West Elementary. So basically, they, the girl was causing a scene, and somebody might have 
might have grabbed her or done something to Yeah, her. the... Uh, Locked herself in the bathroom? Well, I don't... I would say she... It doesn't sound like she probably couldn't lock herself in the bathroom, but... Uh, the, the, the disturbance occurred in the bathroom with her using a bunch of language and causing a pretty major disturbance at the school. And uh, the mother of the female is alleging at some point uh, during the disturbance that the injury was caused by uh, one of the school staffers. Did they say the nature of how... Does it say the nature of it, how... It looks like it? it's a minor injury to one of her arms. Um, not sure exactly at this point uh, how it was caused other than uh, we'll look into it and see what, what the circumstances were. Mm -hmm. Did the mom take the girl to the ER? Yes, mother took the, the girl to the emergency room. Where she was treated and released? Or? Yes, no, no, it looks like a minor injury to one of this female's arms, as I'm, as I'm understanding from the initial report. Um, As an 11-year-old girl? 11-year-old, yeah. 